This program is brought to you by CD-ROM International. Hi, welcome to the CD-ROM Review. I'm Roger Hutchison. And I'm Julie Kravanek. We've got something for everyone today. Those of us who are older generally use CD-ROMs for business or time-saving things, but kids have latched on to CD-ROMs as games. Oh, you're not that old, Julie. <laughs> Thanks, Roger. Today we're going to take a look, talk a little bit about how to get the most out of your CD-ROM drive, and then discs for the whole family, especially kids. Coming up on the CD-ROM Review, we'll show you the advantages of double-speed CD-ROM. It's fast. Then our top 25, the best-selling CD-ROM discs of 1993. And Roger Wilco went from cleaning up restrooms to cleaning up the universe. We'll join him in Space Quest, so stay with us for the CD-ROM Review. What is a CD-ROM? A uh, convertible with twin overhead cams, 300 horsepower, mag wheels, and a spoiler? Not even close. A CD-ROM is an adventure, your window on the world. See and hear history, a safari, a vacation, even a trip into outer space. A CD-ROM can help you explain your ideas and explore business, medicine, law, desktop publishing, or any other field. To discover the latest in CD-ROM technology and find out about nearly a thousand CD-ROM products, call for our brochure, 1-800-CD-ROM-05. These are the best deals available for moving into the world of CD-ROM. Our double-speed CD-ROM starter kit is just $299. You'll get a Panasonic double-speed CD-ROM drive with fantastic CD-ROM discs. For a limited time, we'll include Compton's Interactive Encyclopedia, a $299 value, a Shareware CD, plus a Kodak Photo CD viewer. Or move up to our classic collection, a complete multimedia experience for just $399. You get the double-speed CD-ROM drive and an 8-bit sound card. You also get six terrific CD-ROM CD-ROM discs including Microsoft Bookshelf, Macromedia Action, Clip Media, Halo Desktop Imager, Mantis, and a Shareware disc. For the ultimate experience in multimedia CD-ROM, try our Double Speed Supra Collection. For $499, it's everything in the Classic Collection, plus the LaserWave Supra 16-bit sound card. To order the Starter Kit, the Classic Collection, or the Supra Collection, call our toll-free order line today. Act now and you'll also get OptiCD, a program that increases the performance of your CD-ROM. Welcome back. Before we get to the top 25, we want to bring you up to date on some new developments that can help you get more from your CD-ROM. Roger, what's the advantage of using a double speed drive? Well, you know, when the industry first sh started shipping CD-ROM drives, the data was only, the requirement of the data was only to transfer text and, and numbers. And as we evolved, and you know, we're certainly still a very infant industry, perhaps just moving into our adolescence at this time, we needed to transfer larger and larger amounts of information. So the CD-ROM drives, when they first came out, were single-speed CD-ROM drives because whatever the speed was, that kind of designated that it was single speed. And it was 150,000 bytes of information a second, or 150 kilobytes. About a year ago, actually it was a little bit less than that, people started putting out in the marketplace double-speed CD-ROM drives. Mm -hmm. So basically, it's 300 kilobytes a second. The CD-ROM drives look exactly the same. They're the same size, the internal CD-ROM drive, the external CD-ROM drives. But the data that comes from the CD-ROM disk is going through the interface that is attached to the computer about twice as fast. Okay. There's also, at this time, triple speed and quadruple speed. The only problem with that, there are no applications. So we do recommend if people are buying CD-ROM technology for multimedia applications that they buy double speed CD-ROM drives. Now what are transfer rates? Transfer rates is equivalent to how much information comes from the CD-ROM through the computer and onto the monitor screen at any one time. That transfer rate is measured in bytes per second and it's literally the data if you will, coming from the computer. It's usually measured in bytes. Mm. And a byte, we don't want to get too technical, but a byte is eight bits of information. And one bit is the smallest amount of information that you can have in a computer environment. Okay, bits and then bytes. Bits and then bytes. Eight bits make one byte. Okay. Uh, why are there different disk sizes? The reason that we've moved into different disk sizes is very equivalent if you'll see this computer, there's a three and a half inch floppy and a five and a quarter inch floppy. It's very equivalent at this time in what we're doing with CD-ROM technology. When PCs were first available, it was only the five and a quarter inch floppy that people were transferring information on. Right. In fact, at one time in our young computer industry, 
people thought, wow, 1.2 megabytes of data on a floppy disk was an enormous amount of information. Well, how much is that? 1.2 megabytes is equivalent to, oh, we'll say uh, 100 pages of information. Okay, and that was considered at one time to be enormous. Well, the three and a, three and a half inch floppy is 1.4 megabytes or 1.44, and some of them are now two megabytes. But it, it's about half the size is five and a quarter. What we're doing in CD-ROM technology today is exactly equivalent to what happened when we evolved from five and a quarter to three and a half. Mm -hmm. In fact, Microsoft is now shipping a lot of their software only on three and a half inch disk. And so it's, it's, in other words, they're making a statement, at least in some of the things that they're doing, is, hey, gang, wake up. Three and a half inch floppies are the way to go. And at this time, three and a half inch CD-ROM disks may be the wave of the future for certain niches. And that niche that we consider is the business market. Oh, OK. Good. Thanks for the explanation. OK, now it's the moment you've all been waiting for, the CD-ROM International Top 25 the best-selling CD-ROMs of 1993. I feel like we should have confetti or something. Yeah, I know. <laughs> we, should, we should do this every year, in fact. Like, at the end of the year, we have a countdown, like Casey Kasem's countdown. <laughs> That's exactly But it. we do it for CD-ROM. Now, just to be fair, we're going to do them in alphabetical order. We went out and we looked at all the different CD-ROM discs in the industry, and we decided these are the top 25 best-selling discs in 1993. The first one is Amanda Stories. It's basically about a world-famous children's stories of Amanda's Good Enough, set to full-color animation and specifically recorded sounds. The Animals of San Diego Zoo is the next one, which I loved. There's 200 exotic animals, 60 minutes of video clips, plus information from the experts at the San Diego Zoo. The third one is Arthur's Teacher's Trouble. First, he gets the rat, Mr. Ratburn, for a teacher. Then he has to put 11 letters to a word and a spelling bee. Kids just love this disc. Cinemania, all the movies you love with reviews and biographies of each of the stars. The next one is Desert Storm. Didn't get enough of CNN, here's more. Everything from deep background to gritty frontline reports. The next one is The Family Doctor, a great, easy to understand family medical reference with answers to 2,000 common questions. GRIPS 2 is a very unique disc. It's the best of government raster image processing. If you know what that is, you'd love to have this disc. Grolier Electronic Encyclopedia, 33,000 articles with color pictures and sounds. Next is Guinness Multimedia. This is the disc of world records. Everything in the book plus an authentic recording of the ivory-billed woodpecker <laughs> and native speaking speakers pronouncing the 12 longest words in the 12 languages of the world. I think you just said one of them. Yeah, <laughs> next that's one, right. Next one is Jedi. Three discs packed with facts about science and the environment. And the other one is just me and grandma. It's a living book, the best-selling story which is beautifully illustrated. Next is the Learn to Speak series the first year interactive language course in French and in Spanish. Mm -hmm. One of my favorites, National Geographic Mammals. Truly, people, this is one of the best discs, not only of 1993, but of all times. It's a multimedia encyclopedia of mammals, and it's everything from aardvark to gorilla. Zorilla? Zorilla. <laughs> Zorilla. The last letter of the alphabet. Zorilla. The next is MPC Wizard. Mm. Got multimedia problems? Well, this is the MPC Fix-It disc with a comprehensive collection of Windows video and sound drivers. Mm -hmm. And also, Microsoft's Multimedia Beethoven. It's the Ninth Symphony, and it's both music and all kinds of information about Beethoven. The next is Our Solar System, what the world looks like. Images from NASA and top observatories. Mm -hmm. Profone. This is a national telephone directory disk. It has information on telephones all over the United States. If you really want to reach out and touch someone, this is a good disk to get. Okay, the next is the seventh guest. This one was great. Explore the haunted house and try to end the nightmare. Mm -hmm. One of the most popular, if not the most popular, shareware disks in 1993 is so much shareware. It's over 500 megabytes of software. It has everything from images, sounds, and all kinds of data files on this disk. 
And next is Stellar 7, command the super tank again against 20 different enemies. <laughs> this is right up my alley. It's worse than a freeway at rush hour. <laughs> and, and the next one is Delorme Street Atlas USA. It's every street in the United States. It's a terrific disc. It has towns, it has rural areas all across America. Next is the Talking Jungle Safari. What lives in the jungle? Well, you'll see it and you'll hear it. Mm -hmm. Voyages to the Utter Planets. If you can't find it in the street atlas, this is the disc <laughs> to get. It must be out there. This disc shows you where the Voyager spacecraft went. Next is World Atlas, 4,000 maps and graphs, plus an almanac and a world fact book. If you'd like to buy one of these discs, call 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 1-800-CD-ROM-05. We're going to take a very quick break. We've got some great games for you when we come back. If you knew then what you know now, what would you do? We'll find out what Willie Beamish does when CD-ROM Review continues. These are the best deals available for moving into the world of CD-ROM. Our double-speed CD-ROM starter kit is just $299. You'll get a Panasonic double-speed CD-ROM drive with fantastic CD-ROM discs. For a limited time, we'll include Compton's Interactive Encyclopedia, a $299 value, a shareware CD, plus a Kodak Photo CD viewer. Or move up to our classic collection, a complete multimedia experience for just $399. You get the double-speed CD-ROM drive and an 8-bit sound card. You also get six terrific CD CD-ROM discs, including Microsoft Bookshelf, Macromedia Action, Clip Media, Halo Desktop Imager, Mantis, and a Shareware Disc. For the ultimate experience in multimedia CD-ROM, try our Double Speed Supra Collection. For $499, it's everything in the Classic Collection, plus the LaserWave Supra 16-bit sound card. To order the Starter Kit, the Classic Collection, or the Supra Collection, call our toll-free order line today. Act now and you'll also get OptiCD, a program that increases the performance of your CD-ROM. Get it done, anywhere, anytime. These are the demands of the 90s. To help you meet these demands head on, meet Panasonic's revolutionary new CFV21P notebook computer. The first with a built-in CD-ROM option, offering the largest color active matrix LCD. More options, more upgrades, more features to make getting it done your everyday reality. Ready to take multimedia on the road? The Panasonic CFV21P gets it done with a built-in CD-ROM disk drive, brilliant color screen, and CD-quality sound card. Ready to leave the heavy manuals at the office? The Panasonic CF-V21P gets it done. Ready for easy-to-install upgrades, like a pen-based tablet and an audio-video tuner? Ready to get it done anywhere, anytime? Call 1-800-742-8086 for the dealer nearest you and for our free brochure. If you had a chance to be nine all over again, you'd do it all differently, right? Well, Willie Beamish has that chance in The Adventures of Willie Beamish. And Roger, what does it look like Willie's doing? Well, what we're doing now is we're loading up the application. You know, games are a whole different niche market available in CD-ROM technology today. There are probably, I would say, about 200 different games for children and adolescents available. Some of them are not so much games as like quasi-game and education, you know, like edutainment, I guess, is the cliché. And Willie Beamish is certainly a, a fairly good example of that. Um, I've, go ahead. Do I've your seen, kids use I was going to say, my children use CD-ROM technology. And how old are they? And one is five and one is two. Now, quite honestly, the two-year-old doesn't know how to do much. She has used both CDI and CD-ROM. But my five-year-old has been using it for about two years. And at this time, hmm. one of the ways we assess whether it's a good game or not is, of course, the content, you know, if it's kind of a positive content. And we sure. feel fairly strongly about that, particularly with children. But also, if the child can navigate through the application themselves. In other words, you don't have to be a computer programmer, you know, with a master's degree in co computers to be able to navigate through the product. Do they find this real engaging? Does your son... Is he mesmerized by some of these games? Yeah, or? perhaps even too much. And oh. <laughs> that's one of the things that parents should be aware of, is the, the interactivity can be so stimulating to a young child that they can sit in front of the computer for hours. And I think that there's some dangers there. And of course, you know, the, the parents and the adults supervising the child should make sure that they don't just 
you know, kind of veg out in front of the computer with the right. CD-ROM forever. <laughs> and that's, a, I think, not a good thing to do. But children and certainly adolescents do have the ability to have some very valuable content mm -hmm. and to learn things with the CD-ROM technology. And so for that reason, we certainly encourage people to consider games and and particularly games that have an educational content as part of their library of CD-ROM discs. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. We've got a great deal on Willie Beamish. You can buy it for just $49. Call 1-800-CD-ROM-05, 24 hours a day. Here's a game kids just love. It's called Mixed Up Mother Goose. Roger, how does it work? Well, it's a Windows-based program, and you see we've preloaded the software. Uh-huh, so and there's can, Mother Goose. There's the Mother Goose. <laughs> I'll click on the head of old Mother Goose, uh -huh. and we'll see the opening screen. It's by Sierra Online, uh -huh. and it's a game for children ages four and above. So mm. you know, so we is, fit. Yeah, we're, we're perfect. absolutely. <laughs> we certainly have uh, can go down that low, uh -huh. and we can uh, begin a new game. Okay. And Use the mouse to click on the child of your choice. So oh, she tells there's an oh, introduction. She's, she tells she's you telling what, stories. What's going on. Now you just put the arrow on. Well, I can One. click on any of these icons okay. and then go behind the icon and we'll see what happens after we go behind the icon. Okay. You see, the, the presentation is really quite interesting. Oh. It's kind of like uh, the psychology of the child. So I can go over and click on this person. You see the eyes. Oh, she's starting to blink. Shot. I That's can cute. click on the ballerina. Oh. She'll come out and do a little dance. Oh, that's sweet. So a child can do that and, and um, activate any yeah. part of the picture that they want? As long as the interface is such that the child can navigate into the database. So I can go over to the head Ooh. of, of <laughs> what this did it person. Just, the head just blew up. I can it's a bear. Click on the, the little slippers. slippers. Oh, that is cute. I can go over and click on the drawer. Oh, look at Oh, that's cute. So, you know, one of the things about this is the psychology, the, the presentation itself brings you into the application. Oh, yeah, it's very engaging. And, of course, we're using a mouse, uh -huh. but a lot of the games have the ability to move with a joystick. A joystick is usually attached to the sound card, and a child has a much easier time navigating with a joystick through this type of an application. Right. And if you don't do anything, it prompts you. So we're, we're now into the evening and we can go back into the, the same application in the evening. Oh, and, and dreams dream. come. Oh. So there's a whole series of stories being told behind these different disks. And of course, each disk, like any software package, requires that you learn to navigate through the program. Mm -hmm. And if it's a good program like this is, the child can actually learn intuitively to interact with the database. That's wonderful. It's very sweet. Okay. Mixed up Mother Goose usually costs $59, but through this program, you can get it for just $49. Call 1-800-CD-ROM-05. He started out as a janitor on a spaceship, but when the trouble began, he became Roger Wilco's space hero. Roger, how do we join the spine-tingling adventures of Roger Wilco and the Time Rippers? Mm, well, <laughs> here it is. We've loaded it into Windows. Okay. And you, we just played Mother Goose. We're now going to go to Space Quest Four. Uh huh. So there was a, it's a, you know, it's a series. There's one, two, three, oh. and now four. So it's an adventure. Okay. So we click on the icon. We double-click on the icon to open the program. Now it does go through a fairly lengthy opening, and so just bear with us for a moment. Now in general, these, a lot of these are like action games. There's the ability to navigate, for example, in a spaceship. It's produced by Sierra, Sierra Online. Would this be for kids? It's or uh, teens, probably maybe? for teenagers, Teen I would say, certainly not for young children. Whereas Big mixed kids up, like us? Well, well, yeah, I think so. I think so. If you like games and you like interactive games, particularly like space type games, this would be a very good one Ooh. to buy. So. Um, nice. It's Space Quest IV, uh -huh. and you know one of the things is the ability, as I was saying, to navigate through the mm -hmm. through the uh, different applications, and the space applications permit you to do things kind of like what Star Trek people would like to do with the spaceship Enterprise, mm -hmm. and so the the ability to navigate through. I'm not sure you learn a lot with this type of technology, but it is it's a lot of exciting. fun. It's very exciting. It's fun, right? Mm -hmm. And I would say that the target age for this group is perhaps uh, teenagers, uh, perhaps people who already certainly have computers, and if you, they enjoyed computer games uh, on the computer itself, and they now have CD-ROM, 
then it certainly would be a good upgrade for them. And in general, what he's doing is he, you know, it's, it's kind of like a futuristic and it's a continuation of a series. But our semi-hero, Roger Well, semi-hero, I mean, how much of a hero can you be if you start your life, you know, working in toilets? And so, you know, you have to have a certain <laughs> type of humor to enjoy this, but there's a tremendous audience out there that just thinks CD-ROM, the whole reason CD-ROM was invented, has nothing to do with business, nothing to do with education. It's just a, the sheer enjoyment of games. And they're fun. Exactly. So okay. it goes on and on and on. Okay. The regular price for Space Quest is $69, but through the CD-ROM review, you can get it for just $49. Save $20. Call 1-800-CD-ROM-05. There's a whole new way of playing sound through your computer. And it's part of the bundle of the week. We'll be right back on the CD-ROM review. What is a CD-ROM? A uh, convertible with twin overhead cams, 300 horsepower, mag wheels, and a spoiler? Not even close. A CD-ROM is an adventure, your window on the world. See and hear history, a safari, a vacation, even a trip into outer space. A CD-ROM can help you explain your ideas and explore business, medicine, law, desktop publishing, or any other field. To discover the latest in CD-ROM technology and find out about nearly a thousand CD-ROM products, call for our brochure, 1-800-CD-ROM-05. These are the best deals available for moving into the world of CD-ROM. Our double-speed CD-ROM starter kit is just $299. You'll get a Panasonic double-speed CD-ROM drive with fantastic CD-ROM discs. For a limited time, we'll include Compton's Interactive Encyclopedia, a $299 value, a Shareware CD, plus a Kodak Photo CD viewer. Or move up to our classic collection, a complete multimedia experience for just $399. You get the double-speed CD-ROM drive and an 8-bit sound card. You also get six terrific CD CD-ROM discs, including Microsoft Bookshelf, Macromedia Action, Clip Media, Halo Desktop Imager, Mantis, and a Shareware disc. For the ultimate experience in multimedia CD-ROM, try our Double Speed Supra Collection. For $499, it's everything in the Classic Collection, plus the LaserWave Supra 16-bit sound card. To order the Starter Kit, the Classic Collection, or the Supra Collection, call our toll-free order line today. Act now and you'll also get OptiCD, a program that increases the performance of your CD-ROM. Roger, what's new about Windows Sound System 2.0? Well, Microsoft has just released a new product that is a software-based product that is piggybacking onto existing hardware sound cards. And what it does is it provides a very expanded role for the Windows 3.1 users and the software utilities in there for audio enhancement. It's used both for the recording and the playback of audio and we highly recommend people consider it in the near future. Okay, you want to tell us about this week's bundle? This week's bundle includes our well-known at this time Panasonic <laughs> double-speed CD-ROM drive. Uh -huh. This is model number CR562. Mm -hmm. And the double-speed CD-ROM drive has two disc capability. It can take the five and a quarter inch discs as well as the three and a half inch discs. Oh, both? Both, and it's also caddy-less. It does not use a caddy. We're also offering a 16-bit sound card and the new Microsoft Sound software. So we have a 16-bit sound card, the double-speed CD-ROM drive, the okay. new Microsoft uh, software for sound, and we also have three game discs. Okay. They include the Roger Wilco disc, Space Quest IV. Uh -huh. They include Mixed Up Mother Goose by Sierra. That and was great. This is for, now this is more for younger kids. This is really for children, according to the literature that comes with the product, it's for children who are four years old and, and older. Okay, and, and Roger Wilco would Roger be for? Roger Wilco is really for teenagers and uh, certainly not for very young children. Okay. And then finally we have Willie Beamish. Okay. I think Willie Beamish would be considered a product more for uh, adolescents or uh, say teenagers than uh, mixed up Mother Goose. So two of these really are for the teenage type audience and mm -hmm. one of them is for very young children. We call this the Game Bundle oh. and it's for $499. It also includes an OptiCash program. What's that? The OptiCash program is a software package once again that adds enhanced features to the technology. So a caching program gives you a much faster performance on any CD-ROM drive whether it's single speed or double speed. Okay, sounds good. So once again the Willy Beamish disc, the Mixed Up Mother Goose disc, Space Quest 4, 16-bit sound card, Microsoft uh, Windows 
program for audio and the double speed CD-ROM drive. Okay, just $499 for all of that. It's a great deal. To order, call toll-free 1-800-CD-ROM-05. Or for this or any other CD-ROM review product, you can also send a check or money order to CD-ROM International, 603 Park Point Drive, Suite 110, Golden, Colorado, 80401. Roger, I see you brought a magazine with you. It's, what's it called, Wired? Wired. <laughs> you know, we're, we're constantly asked what are some really good resources, magazines and books that are available in the CD-ROM and multimedia industry. And one that I've not mentioned so far, it's called Wired. Wired can be, information about subscriptions can be had by calling, not too coincidentally, a number 1-800-SO-WIRED. <laughs> -so oh. And it's a tremendous magazine. It's kind of... I suspect a lot of the people that write for this magazine have a very strong interest in rock and roll. Or they're wired. <laughs> or they're very <laughs> wired. But I mean, truly, it has some tremendous uh, material in it. The front cover of the July-August edition had uh, it featured an article by Peter Gabriel, and it was on one of the first interactive CD-ROM rock discs. And so I'd highly recommend people consider subscribing to Wired Magazine. Okay. Now we've got some questions that came in for this week. Are you ready? Ready. Okay. The first one is, uh, does a cache system really work? Mm -hmm. well, that's a really good question. And I uh, compliment whoever sent that in. You know, we really should start reading their names on the air and giving them a present. A caching system is comparable to the cache on the computer itself but it's caching available for the CD-ROM drive. Mm -hmm. And if you have a slower system, a caching program really does enhance the performance of the CD-ROM uh, transfer rate. If you have a double speed CD-ROM drive, the caching system works, but because the information is moving quite a bit faster, the caching effect is less significant. It is relevant, we recommend uh, people use the good programs out there. For example, the one that we su supply is mm -hmm. called OptiCache. Mm -hmm. Uh, and it does increase the performance marginally for double speed and higher CD-ROM technology. Okay. The next question is, will my double speed CD-ROM be obsolete soon because there will be triple speed CD-ROMs? Yeah. NEC and Hitachi, I think, now have triple speed CD-ROM drives. Mm -hmm. Pioneer has a six disc carousel mm -hmm. and they have a six disc CD-ROM drive and it's quadruple speed. Hmm. And the problem with uh, triple speed and quadruple speed technology today is that there are no applications for it, particularly multimedia applications. So there's absolutely no question that a double speed CD-ROM drive is not going to be replaced by a triple or quadruple speed drive. The only uses for triple and quadruple speed drives today are really in increased transfer rate of data. If it comes to multimedia, there's only the applications available today for double speed technology. Okay, and the last um, question real quick is what kind of speakers should I get to go with my multimedia upgrade kit? Well, um, I would go to Radio Shack and buy a $20 set of speakers unless you're a real sound freak and then invest lots of money in them. Okay, if you have a question about CD-ROMs, please send it to CD-ROM International 603 Park Point Drive, Suite 110, Golden, Colorado, 80401. Be sure to watch next week for a very exciting CD-ROM review. As always, we'll have the hottest information and the best deals. Thanks for watching. See you next week. What is a CD-ROM? They uh, 
not convertible with twin overhead cams, 300 horsepower, mag wheels, and a spoiler? Not even close. A CD-ROM is an adventure, your window on the world. See and hear history, a safari, a vacation, even a trip into outer space. A CD-ROM can help you explain your ideas and explore business, medicine, law, desktop publishing, or any other field. To discover the latest in CD-ROM technology and find out about nearly a thousand CD-ROM products, call for our brochure, 1-800-CD-ROM-05.